Hey everybody, it's Lego My Django here, and I thought it was time for another Lego Star Wars set review here on the channel. So today I am reviewing General Grievous' Starfighter. This is set 8095. It has 454 pieces. Uh, it's ages 8 to 14, and it originally priced at $50 in the U.S. So this is a Clone Wars era set, not too old, not too new. But um, it did replace the General Grievous Starfighter that was from Episode 3. And, you know, uh, it came with this awesome new General Grievous here and this cool little station. And we'll just talk about all that, but first let's talk about the minifigures. So first off here we have Nadar Veb, and he was, uh, you know, uh, originally cameoed in this episode, and... It was his last episode. He had just been retired from a Padawan to a regular Jedi from uh, Master S Kit Fisto. Kit Fisto. And uh, he comes with a regular blue lightsaber. A, you know, the uh, kind of uh, stained steel chrome hilt. Uh, and here is his robes. And they're pretty nicely printed. You have the nice, uh, like, little, I guess, tunic thing that goes down there. Nice belt. Back robe printing, too. It's like a hood. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, and the you got the brown hands. Uh, the Mon Calamarans. Uh, so you could, and I'm sure that they use this for uh, the... Um, Admiral Akbar head you could totally and without the the lightsaber this does look like Admiral Akbar you could just put some like white clothes on him and it would totally look like him so that's pretty cool to get um it's almost like that's a trap yeah anyway <laughs> uh you can see the head detail there with the yellow eyes looks very well done can focus closer on there there But that's pretty much uh, everything that is with Nadar. Next off here we have A4-D. Uh, this is basically the comedic droid that fixes General Grievous in his lair. Uh, you have the little... It's a coolly designed droid. You have just this Lego piece with a sticker. Of course it's not printed. Uh, but there's a sticker on there. And you get some nice the tools like a saw here. And this is some t sort of like reflecting thing, but it uh, it, it goes on a hinge like that. And, uh, yeah, like I said before, the light. And it just hooks onto this piece back here and plugs into the back of that. Um, but it's pretty cool to see this piece reused because it's not a new piece, I don't think. Uh, but, yeah, it, it's a very cool little droid. And uh, I, if you've seen the show you'll recognize him almost instantly for the cool tools and stuff that he has on him. And that's pretty much it for A4D. And last but not least here we have General Grievous. This is uh, first when, the first time we saw him reprinted to just look a lot awesome. Now, I, I mean... Uh, the original General Grievous was pretty cool if if you would have just put more printing on him. Um, but this is the Clone Wars General Grievous. Uh, so you have the arms here. This is all made especially for him. Um, and you can... With this arm, it moves this arm too. Now, these arms, all they do is just go back like this. Which is some of the poses that he does in the movie and the show. But you can't actually, there's not a lot of good playability with the back arms other than to pose. Because you, you can like, you can create some type of maybe like a uh, a blocking feature by going like that. Uh, but like, other than that, they just kind of sit there. I'm sure you could customize it or uh, mess around with it to make it look a little bit different. But this is how the instructions tell you to do it. Uh, the head kind of like curls out like that. 
so that's pretty interesting. Um, and the legs are separate, something that they should have done on the commando droids, um, if you've ever heard me talk about that. But the detail on him is very nice, and the printing, and uh, those, you know, menacing yellow eyes there. Uh, but that's pretty much it for General Grievous. And now on to the set. So here we have General Grievous' Starfighter compared to the old one. It's a little bit thicker and I think more sturdy. But uh, let's just go over the features of this thing. So first off here we have the cockpit right here. And this is a newly designed cockpit. A lot better sliding method than the last one. Uh, the detailing in there is stickers. Um, if we can get a good look at that there. But yeah, those are stickers. And you can go ahead and place General Grievous in here. You can keep his other arms on. Uh, but I just took them off for this demonstration. It's a little bit tight, but he fits in there pretty much fine. Um, and there you go. You can fly off like that. Next off here, I want to show the, uh, of course, flick fire missile feature that was very big with Sesta at the time and was pretty new. But you can fold down this canopy here, or this, you know, little hatch, and that's what it looks like on the inside. But you can, um, you know, of course, flick the uh, flick fire missiles. Yeah, you can flip the flick fire missiles out like that. Um, it works okay, but it, it works pretty cool because it's handy because you can hold it with this hand and then use this to shoot it, uh, your other hand. So it's pretty handy and on the other side is the same thing. It's the exact same missile launcher. On the front here, uh, you can see the blasters. They're just held in place by simple latches you can do that if you want if you really wanted to but they're just there um, it's pretty cool to see the uh, checkered detailing right there which I think is more well done on this one than the last General Grievous Starfighter and here on the back you can see the engines the blue right there and right here uh, in this feature right here so what's funny is that you would think when it lands it sits like that but actually when it lands, it's supposed to go in this position, like that. So you can climb into it, I guess. You, you've seen it in the movies, probably. And it, I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense, so you can climb into it. Uh, but when it starts flying, it goes like that. I guess it's kind of like a way to steer it, or maybe kind of like a pirate ship. I guess maybe that's the concept, but um, that's how that works in the... Um, design of it works uh, pretty well. And last but not least here on the undercarriage of the Starfighter, there's just this giant missile. No, you can't do anything with it. You just pull it off and then, you know, there you go. Or you could just pull it off and bomb like that. But it that's all it does. It doesn't have any type of device uh, to uh, shoot it. But here's what it looks like. And it just goes on the bottom of the Starfighter. And that's pretty much it. Next off here we have the little command station. That's in the show where there's a computer and the droid is there too. And it's basically the whole command center for the whole place. And there's this chair there where General Grievous gets fixed. Like... You know, his arm might get replaced or something like that. But uh, right here, too, is a rack for his lightsabers. And they just click in right there like that. It's pretty simple. And it looks pretty nice, too. But you can sit General Grievous in his chair. I've changed it a little bit to look a lot cooler. Uh, but you can sit him in his chair. And the droid can come up here and work on General Grievous. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my review of the General Grievous Starfighter. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this is 
better than the original one? Or do you think the original one is just, you know, nothing, it can't even, this one can't even compare with it? Uh, tell me in the comments below if you liked this video. Please like it up down below and subscribe for new great Lego content if you're not. And, uh, yep, I've been Lego Django, and I'll see you guys later.